I think it's awkward. I think it's awkward inside and I think it's awkward outside. But I really like it. Whoops, we had a wonky leg but I think I fixed you. Welcome back everybody. So, a, a bit of a hodgepodge. Basically, I was asked as a, one of my video requests to do a, a thoughts video on what I think of the Dior saddlebag. So I'm going to go into that in just a mo. Um, been busy today, so preparing for my Paris trip. So Bestie Lorna and I are off to Paris for two nights, leaving the husband at home with the dog. Trusty old oh, Samsonite case is coming with me. Stuff, putting some bits in that, along with my Goyard Artois MM, which is feeling quite heavy. Got a few bits in here, which I'll show you. But just, I thought they went okay tone-wise. I thought that was quite nice. And I'll be using my Chanel wallet on chain for like my phone and my passport and that, so it's like close to me and easy to get to. Um, so so far in here, I've got my Hermes scarf. I've got my makeup, my umbrella, yes, I've had to pack an umbrella, weather's looking shite. Now, I'm dilemma, dilemma, well, one of many dilemmas of the day, also did my nails and um, that was a dilemma, what colour? Not sure for my makeup to use this or this. It's not completely full, it's quite full, um, so it depends how it all fits in alongside this and these. So these are the Moet and Chandon um, acrylics. So these are plastic glasses. So this is for the Eurostar. Um, for the way there, so we've got plastic glasses. But they're really nice and we probably won't have this on there. I think we're going to have some Lanson. But this is Moet and Chandon Ice Imperial. For anyone that likes champagne that hasn't tried this, I really recommend it. And you actually have it with ice. Hence me wanting a nice wide fat glass. So this is also going to go in. So I'll show you. Hmm. <laughs> so this is how that's how that is packed. So, just, just about, just about fit the um, champagne in and zip up, but I don't have to do it with that, or to take this out and use the toiletry 26, um, either way I'm going to have to turn this around so that the champagne is at this end, um, I thought I'd put it in the bottle holder but it is that bit, yeah, definitely too fat, so that's not going to happen. Anyway, sorry, just treat myself to a little cupsy of tea. So, the dual saddlebag, what do I think of it? Is it a trend bag? Um, my honest opinion is yes, I think it is a trend bag. But I think it's it's a trend that's kind of here to stay. I think it's had its when they relaunched it a few years back. I think it was you know it was an Instagram everywhere. It certainly grabbed my attention at that time, um, and I don't think it's got that same um, reputation now. I, I, it's not. I don't think the hype is about that bag that it was a few years ago when they did the relaunch. But that happens every time that, you know, there is this relaunch of a bag and there's all the Instagram campaigns and the influencers and that, you know, that, that's what happens. Now, when that did happen a few years ago, I nearly bought one. Uh, I actually nearly bought the Navy Oblique one and I found a bargain, right? Well, it wasn't that much of a bargain, but we negotiated and I was about to buy one um, for £1,300 pre-loved but as new, so it was a good bargain even back then. Unfortunately, uh, the lady I was buying off responded to me like the afternoon or the day after I bought a different Dior Oblique bag, um, which I've since sold on because I didn't like it. 
So there we go. Um, but one of the things that happened was the day that I bought the different bag was I went into the store and I tried the saddle bag on. I knew I had this one like in the background, maybe I'll buy this pre-loved one at a, a good price. But let's try it on in store, let's see what do I think of it. Because when you look at it, you can see it's not a traditional bag shape. It's got dips and corners and angles and dividers and things going on. Um, so basically to sum it up, um, I think it's awkward. I think it's awkward inside and I think it's awkward outside. But I really like it. So, <laughs> um, this is not slagging off Dior at all. I, I, I do really like Dior and, and the custom service sec is second to none and I like a lot of their bags. Um, but for me, a bag like the Caro bag is much more functional, is much more useful. But I really love the saddle bag. Now, what did I find? So the inside of the saddle bag, and then we're talking about the, the classic medium one now, it's you just got to know how to place your stuff to suit the shapes of the bags. So there's a little bit of Tetris going on there, but if you're traveling quite light, not too bad. So basically, for the size of bag, it's not going to take a lot. In terms of styles, I, I really like the leather ones. I almost like that, the neutral leather ones. I almost like I want to buy an actual miniature saddle and wear it kind of thing. Um, so I, you know, I've, I've come close. I've come close to buying it. But then when I've tried it on, I found it awkward. So, and at the time I tried it on was before the new one. So now if you buy the medium or whatever, it's a classic size saddlebag. They also come with a thin crossbody strap. At the time I let, looked at them, the only way to get them crossbody was to then spend like another thousand pound or so, or however much, I think about 700 odd, um, up to a thousand, depending on which strap you go for, the guitar strap, and then match it. But as I wear it, and I'll include a, um, I'll include a picture of me trying one on. I um, It was beautiful. And actually when I look at the picture, I go, oh, I like that. Yes, I was a little bit thinner then as well. But anyway, but the, the little top strap, it sticks in the boobs. You wear it crossbody, it looks lovely, the saddle bit. And then you've got this strap that, like, what do you do? Do you squash it down? Do you have it just up and over? Like, I, I don't know what to do with it. That's what I mean when I say it's awkward. Um, and if you wear it without a crossbody strap and you wear it on the shoulder, Again, I was like, well, do I just have it under my armpit? Do I, what way round do I have it? Do I have it fat side this way and skinny side that way out or the other way? I just didn't know what to do with it. So this is probably more reflection on me than the actual bag itself. Um, but those are my thoughts on the Jewel Saddle bag. Um, I think it's beautiful. And although it's a trend bag, I don't think it's a trend bag, like I say, that, that's completely gone out of fashion at all. Absolutely not, and I think there'll probably be another resurgence of it. Um, I think it's just going to stay, stay there as part of the, the permanent line for a while. I do really like, and I am very tempted to a mini um, saddle bag. I know they don't hold not much at all, but if you want like a little quirky, you know, like phone cards, lipstick, kind of that type of thing, then really good. I did try one on some time ago in like this bright pink and I loved the strap that went with it. I think I had the Max phone at the time and I just got it in at an angle. Um, but definitely, um, I'm, the, the normal, I've got here just normal um, iPhone size, regular size Pro um, in just an Apple silicon case. I'm sure this would go in. Um, so yeah, maybe that will be a future purchase. I think there's some other bags. I can see me always getting a caro first, especially in the antique rows. Anyway, was there anything else that I was going to say? I mean, it's hard to talk too much about um, a bag you don't own, but those are my reasons for not owning one currently. Um, if I can see pictures of me trying the mini on or even what fits in the mini, I will also include them so you can see. But this was um, about two and a half years ago. Ish um, that I was trying it on. So those are my ramblings on about the dual saddle bag. But with anything, if you like it, then you buy it. Like you know, I do like it. I just, I just didn't find it the most practical. It just didn't tick enough boxes for me to to buy one. 
but um, you know, who knows? Maybe my next bag unboxing, whenever that is, will will be a dual saddle bag. Who knows? Um, we'll we'll see. Uh, I will have another look at them, and you know, it sometimes it just takes that one that that one bag and that particular leather. You know, when I got my mini lady jewel, it just happened. It wasn't planned. So yeah, let me know what you think, of, what your thoughts are in the comments below. If you own one, do you find it comfortable to wear? I'd love to know because I think sometimes you try these things on, but that's very different to wearing them long term. Um, so tell me what you think. Does it work? Anyone got the mini? What do they think of that? Do they like it? Can you get away with it? Um, I just see that's been quite cool, but then I'm not. Anyway, let me know what you think. And I will stop babbling and do another hopefully more informative video next. Take care. Bye.